I know, you've got your doubts. That's what life's all about, Sam. I mean, one second you could be across the table from some gorgeous chick. End of the night, you'll be in the back of the bar at the Alphabet City getting rimmed out by some big old fucking bear and blowing another guy while doing coke. Yeah, well, thank you. It's good It's good to have all those options. Thank oh, you. Oh, come on, Sammy. I'm just messing with you, man. Look, it's not about selling real estate. It's about getting people to like you. Suck a dick if you have to. I don't know. Seriously, you fuck this up and... Yeah, buddy. Remember why I agreed to give you this job. And that I can be your best friend at a bar fight. Or the guy you gotta fight on your way out the door. I need you to close. Where is this guy? Do you hear me? Remember that I always God got your damn back, it. man. Looks like someone's having a bit of a rough day. Yeah, you have no idea. I mean, you look dressed for success on a Tuesday. It can't be that bad. Thank you. It is my birthday, and my client's five minutes late. Oh, God. Don't you just hate that? And someone just takes up all of your time. Do you know, I have this friend named Tessa, and she's always a good 15, 20, sometimes yeah. even 40 minutes late. And so we just, whenever we get together with her, we're just like, oh, we're running on Tessa time. That's great, yeah. 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 Well, I'm on uh, Al's time. Al's my client, so I'm waiting around. So, are are we gonna do it, or do what? Turns out your client is in fact on time. You're Al. Happy birthday. <laughs> nice, nice. It's short I'm for so you know. It's fine. It's short for Allie. I don't know why Ian doesn't just it's write fine. that on the note, it, so I didn't have to. It's really suffer fine. through an embarrassing no, it's, it's, situation. It's cool. It's cool. And I can't get it in. It's cool. Wouldn't be the first time a guy said that to me. Would you mind? Maybe I maybe you have the magic touch. I don't know. Sure. Just let's see. I think it's this one. I don't know. Let's see. Just stick it in and <gasps> Voila. look at that. Listen, it's cool. Thank it you. Happens to tons of guys on the first time. I was trying to make this less awkward, not more awkward. <laughs> Um, the kitchen's been completely renovated. Everything's brand new. I love this place. I mean, I think it's amazing. Um, comes with these chairs, too, if you'd like. So, um, what do you do for work? Oh, I'm a copywriter for this organic food company. Basically, I spend most of the day trying to correct the spelling for words I can't even say. Right. Sounds vegan. Depends on the day. So, um, how, how much money do you make at this job that uh, is kind of small and organic? I don't really know that I know you well enough to tell you that. But I kind of need to know it's part of the process to get you in here. Huh. Well, maybe another day. So, how much are we talking for this place? Um, we are talking $7,595 a month. Okay. All right, let me show you the um, matching <laughs> terraces. They're gorgeous. This is one of the master terraces. The good news is this. You get all the construction workers you can handle as far as the eye can see. This is all yours if you take this place. The city is yours, all the way down. <laughs> that was good. You like that one? That was really good. Do you like, you should, I mean, you should totally write that down so you have it. I got it up there. You got it all right up there. Yeah. Good. So the bathroom has been completely renovated. All the bathroom tiles brand new, the light fixtures, the mirror, the sink. The toilet needs a little work, but if you love this place, I'll get you a brand new toilet right away. Like you personally? That's what you want, yeah. I mean, do you normally do that? Not normally, but I'll do what it takes to get the deal done. Oh, interesting. Ian, man, what is your... Sammy, I've been trying to read you all fucking day. Sammy, you hear me or what, bro? Why haven't you been answering my call? No, you, you tell that little shit the fucking hole. Swish. Thanks. There you
so this here is your own personal washer and dryer unit, which you can see is obviously brand new. It's really nice. Um, but this here is the master bedroom, which I like to refer to as the red room of pain. Check it out. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Seriously, you're, you're making a Fifty Shades of Grey joke at a moment like this? Dude, I barely know you. Did you really think that that was appropriate right now? Did I offend you? Yeah, of course you offended me. Are you serious? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that was the worst birthday ever. <laughs> oh, I can probably top that. For like my, I think, fifth or sixth, my dad calls me and he's like, oh, honey, what are you into these days? And I said, Barbie. And so he thought that I said Barney. And so he hires a guy to come in this Barney suit who was basically wasted and like chased me around calling me Al the birthday boy. And like he was, I think, completely drunk. It was terrible. Birthdays do suck. Yeah. Oh, actually, speaking of birthdays, birthday boy, when we were out earlier for lunch, I went to the grocery store and I got you a birthday present. No way. I did, I did. Bam! So, you know, on your next client, whatever craziness Ian has you telling people, you will smell minty fresh, especially for those lady clients. That was really nice of you. Thank you. Uh, the least I could do. Thank you. I mean, I know it's not as good as like the two best things you could get on your birthday. Like, I don't know, a birthday cookie or birthday sex in a red room of pain, but at least it's something. Are, are, are you okay? I, do you not like spearmint? Because I could probably get something else. No, it's just that, um, you know, I've got a lot riding on you taking something today. And uh, Ian's not just my new boss, but he's also my brother's oldest and bestest friend. Oh, okay. So what is your older brother like? Former Mr. Popular, captain of the football team in his old days? Teased his little brother because the only balls you ever touched were your own. No, my brother's um, my brother's in a coma. Wow, Sam, I'm sorry, I didn't. It's my fault. Why? Well, the cookie um, was a tradition of ours. We would break the cookie on my birthday. It would simulate that I had made it in another year and. He was getting ready to go out, and I was getting ready to go out with my girlfriend, Karen, and um, we decided to go over to my brother's house. And uh, when we showed up, he was completely smashed. I mean, just wasted. Him and I got into it, and Karen took his side, as she always did. And um, my brother grabbed my keys to my car and took off down the road, and... Uh, we got in Karen's car and we chased him. And when we caught up to him, he had hit a tree. And um, the cookie that, that we were supposed to smash for my birthday was smashed all over his lap. Oh, God. And um, the thing about it is, is that uh, I found out later that him and Karen had slept together. You know, Karen, um, you know, I still think about her and w what I would do to her, you know, what I want to do to her. And the thing about it is, is that I fantasize about hurting her. Anyways, you don't need to hear all this stuff. Sam, stop, okay? Listen, you want to talk about fantasies? Look outside. Everybody out there is living in some sort of crazy fantasy. Okay, it's the only way people can cope with the real world. You want to talk, okay, you want to talk messed up family? I have an older sister who's literally the prize of the entire family. And do you want to know why? Why? Because 10 years ago, she won College Jeopardy. And there's a gif of her basically like practically making out with Alex Trebek. And it went viral. So she is the superstar. But she's like the most boring person you could ever meet. Seriously, Sam, she's a total stiff. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm not my sister, okay? And you are not your brother and you're not responsible for any of the decisions that your brother made. 
Seriously, fuck that, Sam. I mean, the one thing that I've learned is that at the end of the day, you don't know where you're gonna end up or who with, and I mean, that's scary, but it's also exciting. Ow, fucking keys. I guess on that painful note, we should probably go get to that other apartment. What other apartment? You know, the the one on 81st. I was, I mean, I was talking to Jerry yesterday. And Who's Jerry? Uh, Are you working with another broker? N n yes. Well, I mean, he just said that all of you guys have the keys to this one apartment and you share them and... Look, you know what? Listen, if we go now and... I like it, then no more dairy. I don't know how that works, but I mean, yeah, I could call Ian and probably work that out. All right, well, let me, let me see what that apartment, what'd you say it was? It was, uh, I can't find it. So I'm gonna just keep on. any further down and I probably would have had to charge. <laughs> thing to decorate with that shade of red. I don't know. Sam, do you think that maybe there's a bit of, um, <coughs> Sam, um, do you remember earlier when I said that two best things that you could get on your birthday were a cookie or Should I close the door? Yeah. Close the door. Ali. Ali. Sister was a real stand. <laughs> 